What's the best line in Kugel's beer? Hello everyone and welcome to For These Are My Thoughts. I'm Blake, thanks for joining me. If you're new to For These Are My Thoughts, we try to help you laugh and relax. And today we're gonna do that by tasting some beer because this channel is based in Wisconsin where beer is king. And one of the biggest Wisconsin-based brewing companies is Lining Kugels. Uh, which is based out of Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. It is lovingly referred to in Wisconsin as Lineys, uh, and it is the originator of the Drink Wisconsinably slogan. They actually have a Drink Wisconsinably beer from Lining Kugels. Today, I'm going to be trying six types of Lining Kugels beers. I'm going to be trying Honey Vice, Berry Vice, Summer Shandy, Toasted Bach, Northwoods Amber, and Canoe Paddle Kolsch. Uh, there are actually nine types of year-round beers from Lining Kugels. There are four seasonal beers and currently two types of shandies, but we'll get to that as we go on. First, let's try Lining Kugels' instant classic beer, which is Honey Vice. Honey Vice features a real touch of Wisconsin honey uh, to make a traditional American Vice beer. I don't know what that means, but it is supposed to resemble a traditional German beer. It's Best paired with citrus, but I'm not doing that because I just like beer the way it is. We're going to rank these beers uh, on a scale of worst to best, in my opinion. The best will come right up here next to the El Segundo Brewing Company, Stone Coast Steve Austin, Broken Skull IPA. We're trying to have him on the channel, so make sure that you like and subscribe. Share it with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Maybe we'll have him on. Mm. Now, I have had Honey Vice before. Uh, it is very good. 4.9% alcohol. Uh, Honey Vice has won many awards for the Lining Kugels Brewing Company over the years. Um, it is pretty, I would say it's a pretty standard beer. Uh, it tastes, you know, just like your, I don't want to say run-of-the-mill beer because it makes it sound like it's not very good. But it's pretty tasty. Um, I don't really get the honey taste in it, but maybe you would if you tried it. Uh, but that's the, the Honey Vice. We'll put it back where it is for now. I don't think it's going to be the best. It's good. I'm, I would never turn that down. <laughs> let's make that clear. I would never turn down a Honey Vice beer. Next, let's transition from the Honey Vice to another year-round beer, which is the Canoe Paddle Kolsch. I think it's pronounced Kolsch. It's got two little dots over the O. I don't really know what that means either. Uh, but Canoe Paddle, I usually call it Canoe Paddler, uh, but it is actually known as Canoe Paddle Kolsch. Canoe Paddler Kolsch is characterized as a slightly spicy and smooth beer that is perfect for winding down and relaxing. I have also had this uh, type of beer before, but here we go, bottoms up. This one is um, a little more bitter to me, I guess. I guess that might be the slightly spicy side, um, but I do like it. I do like it quite a bit, um, and I think I do like it better than Honey Vice, but we'll see. Uh, we'll put that right back where it was. A fun fact about Lining Kugels. Lining Kugels was founded way back in May of 1867 by Jacob Lining Kugel, and it is still run by Lining Kugels and can be found nationwide. It is not its own company anymore. It was bought out by some other major brewing companies. We'll keep staying on this side of the microphone with the Summer Shandy, the king of summer beers, in my opinion. Uh, Summer Shandy is a traditional vice beer once again, uh, but it has a lemonade flavor. It is wonderful. I love lemonade. I think it's perfect uh, on a hot summer day after mowing the lawn or maybe doing anything outside on a super hot summer day, which we're currently having in Wisconsin. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got had a can, so I thought that I would give you a little ASMR. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm -hmm. It is just, this is probably the most refreshing beer I've had, um, mostly because, again, it's got lemonade, and I love lemonade. Um, but during the Prohibition, Lining Kugels was not allowed to make beer because of the Prohibition, and so they made near beer, which they called Lino, <laughs> which is an awful name, <laughs> but it was not very popular. Uh, and so to get through the dark times of the Prohibition, Lining Kugels started also selling soda water. By the end of the Prohibition, they were the largest distributor or seller of soda water in the area, the Chippewa Valley area, I suppose. But Summer Shandy, mmm, nice and refreshing. Um, it's not a sponsor, but I am going to move that to the top spot for now. Move these two down here. Put the, the Summer Shandy right there. 
And we will move on to another kind of fruity beer. And we'll move on to the Berry Vice. Uh, Berry Vice, in my opinion, is an interesting beer. I tried this for the first time last fall. Uh, and it wasn't really what I expected. And I'll explain why once I drink it. But Berry Vice is a crisp Vice beer that has blackberries, elderberries, and loganberries flavoring uh, that is incorporated into the brewing. Um, personally, I think that this beer is good for the summer, but it is sold year round. And it's very berry forward. Um, I think that this is more of a flavored beer than I've, I've had in my you know 26 years of life. Um, I think this is a beer that Hannah, my wife, would drink, and she's not much of a beer drinker. She probably has uh, drank an entire bottle. I think she actually did last night <laughs> drink a bottle of Berry Vice beer. Um, and it's not bad by any means, but it is very berry forward. Um, you can definitely taste the berries, and that's not necessarily my thing. Like, I love the Summer Shandy because it is just like a hint of lemonade. You can tell it's lemonade. Whereas with this, it's almost like you're drinking a wine cooler. And I didn't buy beer to drink a wine cooler, if you catch my drift. So I'm going to put that uh, in this four spot for now. Uh, move this one down. Uh, again, we have this El, Ske El Segundo Brewing Company Broken Skull IPA because we're trying to get Stone Cold Steve Austin to come on the show. So please like and share this video with Stone Cold Steve Austin. Tag him in everything. Share it on your social media. Let's get Stone Cold Steve Austin on for these are my thoughts. And we'll taste some other beers that maybe he hasn't tried before. But moving right along, we're going to taste this beer right here, which is called Toasted Bach. Toasted Bach beer. It is, I think, the most alcohol content, yeah, of any of the beers I have on the table, of 5.1% alcohol. This is a relatively new beer uh, by Line Kugels. It is seasonal, uh, but it became available in November of 2020. Uh, it is a traditional Bach beer. Again, I have no idea what that means. <laughs> uh, but it is supposed to be light, smooth, and toasty which is why it's called uh, Toasted Bach. The, can the bottle says, a refreshing take on a traditional Bach beer. Wonderful. Bottoms up. So that's not bad. It's, it's very bitter. Um, I like The Broken Skull Steve Austin uh, IPA is probably one of, the, one of the only one or two IPAs that I've ever tasted and liked. Um, and this is very IPA-ish. To me, I don't know if I could, I, I would use this to maybe brew brats, like cook brats in. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I would drink it though. I'm not super sure I would want to drink all of this, um, but that's okay. I think that that's not the end of the world to not want to drink the whole thing. Um, <laughs> but I am going to put it at the end spot here. It is certainly smooth, but I would not say that it is light. Um, I don't really know what the term toasty means with beer, uh, but it wasn't warm. I had it in the fridge. It was cold. Uh, but we're going to move on to the last beer, which is the Northwoods Amber. The Northwoods Amber is an amber beer uh, that is brewed using only ingredients from the Northwoods of Wisconsin, thus the Northwoods Amber. It is a smooth lager with a crisp and refreshing finish. Uh, this is 4.9% alcohol. Uh, this is pretty standard. I mean, I, I guess I would assume that an amber beer is a fairly regular kind of beer. That is pretty good. Um, it's better than the Toasted Bach. And I do think that it is better than Berry Vice. Berry Vice is just very berry. Very berry forward. Uh, so yeah, Berry Vice is going down to the five slot here. Um, is it better than Honey Vice? Honey Vice is one of my favorites from Lightning Kugels. This is tough. I am going to keep the Northwoods Lager in the fourth spot. It's not bad by any stretch. Not bad. These two are the other, these three, I guess, the Summer Shandy as well, are in contention for the top spot here. And the Canoe Paddler is maybe a little too bitter for me. Again, it's not bad. I have had Canoe Paddler, Canoe Paddle, whatever it's called, uh, multiple times in my you know drinking life if you are not 21 please don't drink okay um i understand that some people think that's not a big deal but it is the law and even though wisconsin like jokes about drinking wisconsinably 
you definitely should drink responsibly, and I think a big part of that is waiting until you're 21. Um, but Honey Vice, I mean, dang, that's good. But I don't think it's better than the Shandy. I think Summer Shandy is the winner today. Uh, summer Shandy, it is great in the summer, and maybe that's that's a, a bit of a, it has a bit of an advantage because it is the summer, and it is currently 90-some degrees in Burnhamwood, Wisconsin, uh, but it is so good, and I love lemonade. So, so go and get yourself a Lion and Kugel's Summer Shandy. Again, Lion and Kugel's is sold in all 50 states nowadays, so I'm sure you can find yourself a Lion and Kugel's Summer Shandy somewhere. If you can't order it online, it's definitely worth the purchase. Lion and Kugel's, I'm going to talk directly to you for a second. Lion and Kugel's, you had a beer at one point before my lifetime, I think, called Liney's Red. And that is my father-in-law's favorite Line & Kugel's beer and also my gr my grandfather-in-law's favorite Line & Kugel's beer. And you should bring that back. You should bring back Liney's Red. But my recommendation for today is to definitely check out the Summer Shandy. Really check out all of Line & Kugel's beers. Even though the Toasted Bach is towards the end, I would not turn this down. Maybe that has more to say about me being a Wisconsinite <laughs> than anything that I wouldn't turn down a beer that I rank at the end of a beer tasting. Uh, but... Yeah, certainly check out Lion and Kugel's Beer. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. If you learned something today, if you like beer, if you enjoyed any part of today's video, please, please drop us a like. Please subscribe. Consider subscribing. Watch more for These Are My Thoughts episodes. We are almost to 250 subscribers, and a little birdie told me that once we hit 300, we might do a giveaway. Otherwise, we're going to do it once we hit 500. We need your help to do that. Thank you so much for watching, for being part of the Think Tank. Until next time, these are my thoughts, and I'll see you soon. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, please give us a like if you enjoyed the video today. Uh, you can subscribe hitting the circle button, or you can click the box to watch more for these are my thoughts episodes. Thanks so much again. I'll see you soon.